up on a data breach into the Colorado Department of Higher Education. Last week, we told you unauthorized individuals were able to get a hold of sensitive student data this summer. Our Devin Karp spoke with officials at UCCS today to find out more about the local impact. So Devin, what are you learning? Diane, the Department of Higher Education will not tell us just how many students across the state have been affected, but UCCS says they were told a large cross-section of their own students were most likely impacted. At first, it's a, it's a little scary to think that uh, your information could get hacked or breached. Kira Nokon graduated from UCCS last year, meaning she was attending school in the time frame her information could have been stolen. It's, it's a little bit nerve wracking to think how, how much information could they actually get from that many people and, and that with that range gap. The Colorado Department of Higher Education says the ransomware attack happened in June. Now, they haven't told us how many people were impacted, but say it involves students who attended a Colorado public high school between 2004 and 2020, as well as people who attended a Colorado public university from 2007 to 2020. Well, we were notified by CDHE that there was a data breach that would likely impact a, a large cross-section of our students. We are still waiting to hear from CDHE about you know, which individuals might have been notified. They say hackers were able to copy social security numbers, names, student IDs, along with other education records. We are advising all of our students to keep an eye on their email and their mail. Um, CDHE will be reaching out to those that they think were potentially impacted. We are also encouraging all of our students to sign up for the free credit monitoring that CDHE is offering after this incident. That free credit monitoring will be provided to those affected by the breach for two years. While none of Kira's information was stolen, she says she's no stranger to identity theft. I know some family members who have, so it's a, it's a long process to get through. UCCS told me the department is meeting with some universities tomorrow morning to discuss more about the data breach. Now, if you think you were affected by that breach, you can visit our website, koaa.com, to learn how to sign up for that free credit monitoring service. Diane? Devin.